You're live. Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. It is Saturday. Chris is about to go cut the grass and I said, let's throw together some quick sloppy joes so you can eat lunch before you get out there. He's already potted some plants for me this morning. This is in our third cookbook and this is my homemade sloppy joes. And even if they're homemade, they're super easy, all right? So I'm gonna show you how fast you can throw them together when you have your ground beef already browned and in the freezer. Lots of times I buy ground beef when it's on sale. I brown it, I put it in freezer bags and stick it in the freezer and it's so convenient on days like today when you wanna make something fast. And so I'm gonna show you how I do that. Well, I mean, I just wanted to tell you and I'll show you how I can make something fast with some frozen already browned ground beef. Now I have an onion trick I wanna show y'all in order for you guys, uh, I've already done one of the sides and I told Chris, I said, I'm gonna show them this onion trick in case they haven't seen it. Um, I watched a video, a viewer sent it to me and I think you're gonna have to come around on this side, Chris, because I have to, it's kind of, you know, I gotta do it right-handed. Okay, so I've already sliced this side of the onion. What you do is you take your peeling off your onion and you cut a little flat place in the bottom let me take this off too, because we'll use all of it. And some of y'all may already know this trick. I mean, I've already done this side, but instead of going straight down like this, you actually cut your slits a little bit sideways and towards the center of the onion. And that way you don't have to cut slits this direction, okay? towards your hand and then you just slice your onion up and then I'll show you how you slice up the very end part of the onion so that you can get all the onion. Then when you get to here, then you just cut it and you slice it the rest of the way. Super simple and easy and then you got a nice sliced up onion. and you've used all of it, for the most part. All right, so we're gonna throw this into our skillet. Let me put a little olive oil in here right quick. And my skillet should be preheating. We're gonna be making some tater tots. As soon as I throw this in there with the bell pepper, we're gonna turn on our tater tots. Um, I don't know if I've made tater tots live before with my air fryer. So I wanted to show you how quick that is too. My bell pepper, now I also buy bell pepper when it's on sale, I chop it and I freeze it. I don't do my onions that way because of the odor, but I do do bell pepper, but you could do onions that way, wrap them in a little foil and put them in the freezer. So this is bell pepper going in. And even if this is homemade, it's going to be easy. Uh-oh, I got a couple of big pieces of onion. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. We'll pretend like they're perfect. Okay, right. so you're gonna get over here to your air fryer. You're gonna throw in your tots. You can see these tots. And I'm actually going to put this because I like for them to be cooked on a high temperature to get good and brown. So I usually choose the steak setting on my Kasori air fryer and I hit the play button. Now, once these are have cooked for six minutes, I'll shake them and we'll do it again. Now we're just going to let these get a little bit translucent, you know, cooked a little bit soft, and then we'll add our ground beef and the rest of our ingredients. I'll go ahead and show you our ingredients right quick. We're gonna be using onion powder, even if we're using fresh onion. And you can omit the fresh onion and pepper and use a spice if you want to, if you're in a big hurry. We're using some tomato sauce, a small can, I think it's an eight ounce. We're gonna use some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, some yellow mustard, some delicious sweet relish. And a lot of people don't put this sweet relish in their sloppy joes. And let me just tell you, boy, is it good. And then salt and pepper, and I'm going to uh, use some fresh garlic. Now you can use garlic powder if uh, you would rather do that if you're in a hurry, all right? 
And look, this is so much better than the sauce that comes out of a can. And I'll tell you why. I don't know why, but to me, um, it kind of tastes like the can. Um, there, I like the Aldi's Sloppy Joe sauce pretty good out of a can, but the Manwich Sloppy Joe sauce, and I grew up on it. Mama made it all the time in the summertime. But to me, it just kind of has a canned flavor. You know, you can kind of taste, seems like it's been in the can too long or something, I don't know. But this is so good, it's so easy. All right, now here's our ground beef. Me and Chris are gonna, I'm gonna, just so I haven't stepped back a minute, this is still frozen, all right? So I'm just gonna bang it on the counter a little bit, or I think I am. Maybe I'll run it under some hot water. Hopefully I got some hot water. And we might want to put a lid on this to get it good and uh, unthaw quick, okay? Or I could just zap it in the microwave real quick on defrost. We'll do that. But now you don't have to. You can just throw it in your skillet. But since we're live, uh, so we don't take forever, I think I'm just going to throw it in here for a second. So y'all tell me where you're from, what you're doing on a Saturday while we're doing this microwave for a second. Who all we got on here, Mr. Nichols? Rome, Georgia. Rome, Georgia. Of course. Man, when I was growing up, we lived in Cedar Town. So we went to Rome to go to the movies, out to eat, because back in those days, we didn't hardly have anything to eat in town, except for Zorbas and Petros, which were delicious. Um, but we went to Rome to go to the doctor lots of times, and of course all the hospitals were in Rome, and we had a good time there. Charlotte, Missouri, North Carolina, Florida, California, we got all, oh, Indiana, everywhere. Everywhere. People, everywhere, North Carolina, Joplin, Missouri, Joplin. Prattville, Alabama, Phoenix, Arizona. Every time anybody from Alabama comes on here, they tell us what town they are from. They never just put Alabama. Must be a, a Louisville, Alabama thing. Louisville, Kentucky, Ohio, Maryland, another North Carolina, Maine, Limestone, Maine. I never heard of that. Kentucky, Denmark, South Carolina, Texas, of course. You gotta have some Texas people on here. All right, we got our ground beef going in now. And uh, let me get my hamburger separator and beat it up a little bit. I can already smell these tots and they smell so good. I'm noisy today. Step back a little bit. All right, then. That should work. Okay. Okay, let's start throwing everything in, all right? Here we go. Let me get, let me mix up these onions a little bit. Got them for M I S S I S S I P P I. All right. I have to look at my little recipe over here to make sure I put it in right. So you got your bell pepper in there. I need to put my garlic in there. Uh, two teaspoons of onion powder. Let me pull this over so I can see it better. That's one good, great thing I will say about my cookbooks is they're large print and you can see them from far away. Can't you, Chris? They are nice and big. They are. All right. So we're gonna put in. Will you hand me that little paring knife beside you, Chris? Right there. I need it for my garlic. Okay. So we're gonna put in our tomato sauce. Okay. I know I can do that. I already measured. Uh, onion powder is two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Do you know I never cooked with onion powder until I learned it from viewers? And boy, do I love it now. It's one of the best things y'all ever told us. Yes, it is. All right. Salt and pepper. A teaspoon of salt. And how much pepper? Teaspoon. A whole teaspoon of black pepper, y'all. That's a lot. I left a little bit out. Okay. Then you got your garlic. We hear you. 
Oh, we forgot to shake it, didn't we? No. Oh, you did shake it? No, I only cooked it six minutes, so oh, I couldn't shake it. I got you. Shake it. All right. I'm being smart. Here they are after six minutes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put them on six more, and they're going to be done. Perfect. Eight ounces. Eight ounces. That's a whole cup. That's a lot. Ooh. Man. Yep. Ketchup. I got some more. All right, ketchup. Let's All right, see. let's see how many pickles. Some A people are cut. asking about uh, items. That we're using anything we have is on CollarValleyCooks.com. You can look it up. Anything. Yeah, everything. From the measuring spoons to the scoops to the skillets to the air fryer, everything is on there, y'all. And we would really love for you to go in there and shop through our links, too. All right, there's the pickle relish in. It's good. How much mustard? A tablespoon. I eyeball my mustard. It's about empty. Me and Chris eat a lot of mustard. All right. What else we got, Daddy? Bush to churn, that's all? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep, I think that's it. I don't know. It I'm says to, three shakes. I'm trying to watch the, I'm trying to video. Three shakes. Now you can put more if you want to. Just put your some in there. That's all there is to it. Now it's cooking on high, so it's good, gonna be good. And you can let it simmer before you make your sloppy joes or not. I mean, everything's done. Your ground beef is ready. Um, and of course, after it marinates in the refrigerator, it'd be even better with the garlic and stuff, the fresh garlic. But I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna have plenty of flavor regardless. Mm -hmm. And me and Chris are eating it fast, ain't we, baby? Yeah, that'll work. Cause he's gotta get outside and cut the grass. So, we'll go ahead and get our buns out. Let me wipe this off where I had the onion on it. And we're gonna make us a sloppy joe. You just want one, don't you, Daddy, since we got tots? Yeah. And these buns were in the refrigerator. I'm gonna throw them in here right quick. So you can just throw your buns. Look, these are getting nice and brown now. Oh, yeah. So we're just gonna throw our buns in here with them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, air fryers are amazing. They make delicious food without heating up the kitchen. So it would have taken a lot longer to get those tots that crunchy in the oven and it would have heated up the house a lot more. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm keeping this on high just because we're going to eat it pretty quick, okay? Good stuff. Good stuff. So, what I'm going to do real quick is uh, make us something to drink. Okay. You can just go over there and stand until I'm ready if you want to. I'm keeping, I keep backing Chris up out of the way. I'm going to have to walk in there right. too. You know, what would you say your secret ingredient is on the sloppy joes? I That's would say the sweet the pickles. The secret is the sweet pickle. Yes. Secret sweet pickle sloppy joe recipe. Here, I'll show y'all one more time while she's in there getting drinks. Is cherry coke or regular? Uh, cherry coke would be good. There's a recipe for y'all. Trying to get close enough. I know I've got sh shadows on it. Joes. All right, so we got us a nice cherry Coca-Cola. Hmm. That'll be good, won't it? Good stuff. There it is. 
can hear the fence, maybe. Okay, this is ready. Okay. So I'm gonna lay these right here, and we're gonna make us a sloppy joe. Mm. Well, let's lay them on the, over here. Okay. But let them see my, well, they will see them on the plate too. I was gonna let y'all see the tots, how pretty and brown they are. But let's make our sloppy joe right quick, and then um, I'll show you those tots. Let me turn this off. These serving spoons. These serving spoons are on there too, y'all. These are amazing. Um, they don't, they kind of look discolored a little bit after you run them through the dishwasher quite a few times like I have. But they're the perfect size for stuff like this. They're so handy to have in the kitchen. And they're reasonably priced on there. You get quite a few in the pack. I can't remember how many you get, but more than you need. You get plenty. They're real sturdy. Yeah, they are. They're thick handles. Good spoons. Okay. There's one. Pretty sloppy. It's gonna be, ain't it? Because I put a lot on it. Maybe I won't put as much on this one. Hmm. Now, sloppy joes are, y'all seen how fast we made them. They're really good. So if you got grandkids or kids or husbands that's about to cut the grass, this is a good Saturday meal. Tonight we're making fish for supper, so we're eating healthy for supper, so we can eat something not so healthy for lunch. I put a lot of tots in there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I sure did. I wanted to show y'all some tots. Now look, uh, another thing you can do with the air fryer with stuff like this in the summer, or any day, it doesn't have to be summer, is make those cheesy tots or chili coated tots with sour cream. Mm. And that's really good for lunch if you want something good and chunky, mm -hmm. uh, fast. My sister does those a good bit for her boys. Mm. She does a lot of Mexican taco uh, skillet like this out of our cookbook. And she does a lot of uh, pots and stuff like that. You want some on yours? Uh, just on the side a little bit, just a touch. On the side, Clyde. Did I get the sloppy one? I think I did. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna slice it up for y'all. Okay. Take a bite and we're gonna go so Chris can eat and go get to cutting the grass. I got chores to do, he's got chores to do. I gotta wash clothes and sheets and I really need to groom my dogs a little bit today. They need a haircut. I do a lot of stuff myself. I'm just like that. Uh, the main reason is because I hate waiting and I hate having to take the dogs in. I cut my own hair, I cut the dog's hair and thank goodness I don't have to cut Chris's hair. <laughs> yeah, I cut my hair. He cuts his own hair. Let's take a bite. They're hot. Mm-hmm. And dip. They're delicious. But I will say that my sloppy joes have a little bit of a kick. And it's all that pepper, black pepper everything else so if you don't want them to be just a little bit spicy hot it, as in hot this way um use a half teaspoon of black pepper instead of the whole teaspoon we all understand that the teaspoon um of pepper is a lot of pepper mm -hmm. right yep. so just keep that in mind when you make them and you're sure to love them they're absolutely delicious easy on a summer day or any day now let me show you how crunchy these are I'll let y'all hear me crunch one. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? Ready. Look how pretty and crunchy that looks. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, good. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.